Good morning, Good morning YouTube. YouTube. I'm Big Rolitri. And I'm Will Do Dylan. And today we'll be unboxing Arkham Knight. So here's a funny story. I used to think Arkham Knight and Batman were one person because it was Toycon and I saw this dude cosplay as Arkham Knight. Then I got the game a few days later. And yeah. That's the story of how we found out about Arkham Knight. like inside um here there are some credits yes credits okay here's the arkham knight himself so actually Red Hood. before oh, we open this yeah. you can see that if you like displaying toys in the box in plastic. you can just open it and then look at it so now let's open right. it right let me open it right close this Oh, it's pretty hard to get out. So, oh, need help. Of course you do. Okay, and oh, oh wait. Looks like this. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> Before we show it, check out the back. And it has backdrop. Uh, a fight scene here. It has a stand. Uh, yeah. Okay. Side. And it Side. has red covering. So right. here it is. Right. Arkham Knight. And first we'll take off the guns and arms. It's taped on. Oh no, it's coming with. Ooh. Ooh. Weird. We have to remove. Oh no, you don't. Yeah. So first we'll go for the guns. Okay. Go. So here we have a set of guns. Guns and arms. But his hands are very big. They are really are. Sure. And they can't move actually. I don't There's like a set that. of arms and yeah, the guns. Here you have a few pistols. Dual pistols, single one. Oh, we got the hand fell off. Sniper, sniper made from these two shotguns. And Are these batteries? Yeah. No. Oh no. That's a They're giant flash bomb battery. grenades. Looks like one giant battery. Yeah. Anyway, um, so. Three extra set pairs of hands. Yeah. Anyway, so spoiler alert if you didn't play the game, um, Jason Todd or. Red Hood or Arkham Knight, you use these two shotguns here. They these, are these, 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 these two shotguns here. Yeah, the held them, put them together, and made this sniper. And here's how you add the smoke bombs. You can place the smoke bombs here. There's also a place for the, the grenade right here. You have a pocket on the right side of his utility belt.
pretty cool though. Alright, so here's Arkham Knight. Take off the plastic piece. Okay! So, what? The plastic is gone. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we have Arkham Knight. Red Hood. You can try, you can you have extra pieces in here for you to What my brother was trying to say is that he didn't need to say red hood, he was like of course it's also red hood, so So you have extra pieces here, it. red parts, specifically for changing him into red hood. So let's change him right now. Don't you agree? Yeah. Pause. But of course we have to Here's a stand. Um, it's made of plastic. It has some um, metallic effects and stuff. Also has a matte background, which looks really cool. So you have leather here. In this back area, upper back. Plastic, plastic. Um, hmm. Here you have some cloth fabric for pants. The rest are solid plastic. You have articulation here. Here. And here. Although it you can't fully bend his knees though. Oh wait, you can. Oh, uh, don't risk it though. I think I might break it. It might rip because it's cloth. The and overall also, articulation is really bad. <laughs> the figure has a lot of articulation restrictions, which means she can't move the figure that much. It's not that poseable compared to other figures. Lift the shoulder pads so you can move his arms properly without scratching the paint on either the shoulder pads or the arms. And of course, no Hot Toys set is complete without the manual. And... It was like a Barbie doll! That's Wait, so why do you know that? So, um, you can replace them with these chest parts. These chest plates. Oh no, wrong one. Is wrong it? One. Oh yeah. <laughs> well. Now I'll go for the head. I'll be doing the head. No, 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 arms going up. And it should just come off right quick. quick, quick. Here, left. Drizzling. So here's the comparison compared to the Iron Man Mark 50. As you can see, there's not really much of a height difference. The Red Hood helmet has really nice paint. It has like that um, car paint finish to it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but it just looks really, really good. There seems to be another layer of paint, which is transparent. Here are some shots we took um, for you to appreciate the figures. Figure, sorry, I forgot it was just one.
Arkham Knight head has a complete layer of glossy paint. You can also remove the head so you can adjust battery. The helmet looks exactly like in the game. Although, if it had more lights, it would have been even better. All the cloth on this figure is completely seamless. You won't see any seams at all. It's like as if it was a perfectly fit for this toy. As usual, Hot Toys nailed it with um, the details and game accuracy. Looks exactly like the character in the game. From weapons to the suit to the helmet, it's all complete. More lights, that's what we need right now. As you can see, um, it's just the eyes that light up, not the whole mask, which I really think that's a disadvantage to this figure.
and of course, uh, it would have been better as a diecast figure. True. So, it did have that premium feel. It's pretty cool because of the leather, the um, the cloth, the head has like screen. I really like that. For me, I rated nine out of ten. I give it a nine point five. So, so up, up next, next we have the Hot Toys Spider-Man Advanced Suit, the Hot Toys Thanos, and the um, Hot Toys Captain America. Yeah. Bye. That's all. Uh, remember to subscribe, like.